Hi, I'm Mohate Sarajayrat and in this video we're going to work on a biomechanical model to make it ready for FE analysis. As you can see, mesh with materials are imported into Abacus. In case you don't know how to do so, please watch previous videos in the biomechanics playlist. Here you can see we have an ankle joint which was treated by supramalolarostotomy. We're not gonna talk about the surgery's detail. We'll only discuss generating the model, so you can use these tips on your models too. Alright, first of all we want to attach each articular cartilage to its respective bone. For this purpose, I'm gonna use the tie constraint, but how? Let me explain. Here, select add constraint, select tie, and write its name, tibial cartilage. Continue. Now I want to attach the cartilage's inner surface to the bone's outer surface, so I'll select surface. As you know, we should first pick the master surface, so let's turn the model so that the articular surface gets horizontal. Um, I think it's good now. Now, by choosing remove selected, remove everything but the tibia, I mean master surface. Pick instances from here. And now, by holding the shift key, select everything but the master surface. Now, press done. Select the surface like this. I'm trying to select the joint's articular surface. Turn the model to check everything is fine. As you can see, I've missed some details at the bottom. So, adjust the position again. And select it one more time. Let's check. Now it's all right. Done. Okay, it's time to select the slave surface. The slave is the inner side of the cartilage. Return everything back here. Now remove everything but tibial cartilage. By the way, if you cannot identify which surface should be master and which one should be slave, please leave a comment below and I'll respond to it. Also, for supporting my hard work, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and tell me in the comments what do you want to see in the future. I'd love to hear from you. So from here, instances are selected by pressing the shift key, select everything but cartilage. Okay. Now we should select the inner surface, but how? Select by angle, 20 degrees is acceptable for this model. Click and select the inner side. Fine. As you can see, some details are missing again. So by holding the shift key down, select the missing parts carefully. Check everything multiple times. Now, it seems to be okay. Done. All right, now we have defined the master and slave surfaces. For to avoid the zero volume error, uncheck this option and click OK. Return the whole model. As you can see, the tie constraint is showing up here with these tiny yellow circles. I want to do the same thing for taller cartilage. I'll do it without explanation. Okay, as you see, I've attached the cartilages to the respective bones using tie constraint for both tibial and taller articular cartilage. The next thing that I'm gonna do is to define the frictionless contact between these two articular cartilages. So first, select Create Interaction Property, Interpop, Contact, Continue. In Mechanical tab, 
Select tangential behavior. Choose frictionless. If you want to determine the friction coefficient, you should pick the penalty and so on. But this will affect your analysis time. So I go with the frictionless. So click OK. Now for defining the contact between articular cartilages, create interaction, the surface to surface, at the initial step. Continue. We should select the outer surface of each cartilage. Because the loading in my model is applied from below, although the upper cartilage has a greater surface and these two cartilages have the same material properties, I'll pick the bottom cartilage as the master. So here, one more time. With surface and using bi-angle method, I'll select the outer surface of taller cartilage as the master. Done. And now we should pick the slave surface. Same to what we did for the taller cartilage. All right, done. Here you can modify the settings related to your contact. Also pay attention that interaction property has been loaded in here. In the case that you have multiple interaction properties, you should select it from here. If you have first created the interaction without any property, no worries. Just click on create interaction property and this way you can define a new interaction property. Anyway, I have selected interpop1, so everything is fine, okay. And as you can see, the interaction is showing up here by these tiny yellow squares. If these yellow circles and squares are annoying you while you're working and defining, for example, ligaments or whatever, you can just deactivate them from here and reactive them like this. All right, now I want to simulate the ligaments around the ankle joint using linear springs. To do so, I'm still in the interaction module. From here, click on special spring dash pot and create. As you can see, Abacus is giving you two options. The first option is to connect two points together. And the second one is to connect points to the ground. Obviously, for defining ligaments, I'll go with the first option. Type the name of your ligament. Here I'm modeling anterior tibiofibular ligament, ATFL. Continue. Because my model is already meshed, I'll pick mesh. Abacus is asking to select the first point for pair 1. Based on the anatomy of this ligament, I'll pick this point. Okay, again mesh and now select the second point of this pair. Let's zoom a little bit to see what I'm going to choose better. If you define single spring element for each ligament, probably you'll see a stress concentration in the final result, which may negatively affect the results of your simulation. So I recommend you to use multiple spring pairs for each ligament. I have done this with four linear spring elements, so let's do it and I'll be back. After choosing four pairs, click on Done. Now it's showing the ending and starting points. Look, the first one was selected on tibia and ending points are on fibula. Starting nodes are red and endings are pink or purple in the viewport. The axis chosen for it is by default around this line, but in case you want to change it, do it from here. ATFL's stiffness, based on the literature, is 90 newton per millimeter. So I'll enter and select OK. Pay attention to units. I'm saying it like in every video. As you see, the springs are created like this into interaction module. If you click on create again, you can create more ligaments like this. And anytime during your work, if they were annoying you in the viewport, you can just deactive and reactive them like this. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way, you'll never miss a new video from me.